Hi everybody, Solomon's Tales again. So Solomon's just got back into Thailand. He's got his stamp, his minivan back to Patea. So he's this trip, year long trip, not a hedonistic holiday, that's the plans, with the idea of looking for potential work in Asia. So he's had two months in Patea, been to Cambodia, a bit of a road trip for a couple of weeks. He's back into Patea. He's got another stamp that's going to give him another month and then an extension. So it's two more months. Minivan into Patea drops him. The one he he has no choice. It's just he he hook, hooked on for a ride for a couple of hundred baht, and it dropped him in Soi Bacay, pretty much at the central road end. So. Uh, here he is, Patea, rucksack on his back, no room, no motorcycle, nothing. So he thinks the best thing, he'll go and see Frozen. That's the rooms he had before. However, he doesn't want one of those rooms this time because they're dark and dingy and they're way back, sort of third road. Um, so he thinks it's now just after lunch. It's around about two-ish. He thinks he'll go and catch up with Frozen and uh, take it from there. Now, as you remember, Frozen and him, friends. They've become good friends. Frozen's got a boyfriend. Doesn't give her much money. Now, it also turns out, in this time that Solomon spent with Frozen, she's got a Thai boyfriend as well who lives in Bangkok doesn't come down very often long curly haired guy <laughs> and Solomon's met him once but he comes down occasionally so she's got a Thai boyfriend she's got this other guy can't remember what nationality it gives her a little bit of money but it's enough to keep her so she doesn't have to work anyway grabs a motorcycle taxi from outside one of the shops up to the I think it was called View Tale. I think that's a company that's got many condos around Patea. But again, this is 15 years ago. So, and it was an ugly building. Bike taxi up. It's like 20 baht back then. Gets up there. Drops into the shop downstairs first. Grabs a couple of bits. And uh, up he goes. Knocks on Frozen's door. Now these condos all of them are the same it's dark corridors very long building dark corridors and every door has got like a jail door on it it's like a barred door with a padlock and then your doors right behind it which opens inside and i think the reason for this people could leave the door inside open just pull the sort of barred jail door too without padlock in it when they're inside and um, get a bit of fresh air in and open their windows but anyway so it goes along the, the shutter uh, the jail door is closed but you just put your hand through knock on the door luckily she's there he's got a number he should have rang but uh, she's there opens the door absolutely over the moon to see him because she thought he was going off for a few months with Ning on the bikes and she wouldn't see him. Remember the pool competitions he was doing, the killer pool, he was giving Frozen free money, cut back, you know, a little cut, sort of 20% of his winnings. Um, she was helping him find more contests. Anyway, she was over the moon. She he opened the bar jail door, she opened her door and she threw herself on Solomon. Now for reasons I might tell you way in the future, she threw herself at him. They were friends, remember. And we'll stop with details there for now. The next morning, <laughs> you fill in the blanks. Remember they're friends. The next morning, <laughs> um, Solomon has stayed the night, gets up, says to uh, Frozen that he wanted to find a room, a different place. 
and Ning had told him about some places on, on their travels. So, now Ning had come back to her golfing boyfriend that she was supposed to have broken up from. Because of that, Solomon was thinking he can't go with Ning again but she, because he thought she'd finished with a boyfriend. He's not like that. If she's got a fella, he doesn't want to get involved. It's not fair. Ning when she was staying with the other girls in a room, the, the room was Beach Road, Soy 4, about 150 metres up on the left, was a block of rooms, and that's where she stayed. If she's with her golfing boyfriend, they either he either stayed at Cabbages and Condoms up on the hill, first time he saw Ninian Patea, or he stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel, in the middle of Beach Road, maybe a bit further towards Walking Street. But she told him um, about a place in Soy 2, Beach Road Soy 2. Now, Ning didn't work in the bars. Uh, I must point out, in all the years Solomon spoke to Ning, saw Ning, she only was ever saw her or knew about her with this golfing guy and a bit of with Solomon and that was for years to come so good girl she didn't work in the bars the golfing guy sent her enough money quite a bit of money every month but she had her best friend who had a bar on second road now this is where Ning would hang out so Solomon knew this and she told him about some rooms just behind these bars so where are these bars Second Road, a very famous bar, and if you ever go to Patera, I believe it's still there, go and have a look. The Atlantic Bar. So that is situated between Soy 4 and Soy 2, if my memory is correct. So come away from the beach, go up Soy 4 or Soy 2, and it's then at the top on the, as you come around the corner. Now the Atlantic Bar was maybe 10 steps up there was the Atlantic bar and it extended along a bit and then I think three little other bars perched up and there were shops underneath and there was a 7-eleven under there but round the side in Soy 2 was some toilets another grumpy old lady <laughs> uh, was the toilets and then just down a bit was some rooms apparently a lot of the girls stayed there but there was they were cheap rooms and and then it's not far from the beach. It's only how long is Soy two? Three, four hundred meters? Don't know. If you ride down on a bike, it's just seconds. So it's not far from the beach. So he's thinking that. Go and look at those rooms. So anyway, gets up uh, with uh, a frozen, and they head down to Second Road, get some breakfast find a cafe and he tells her about these rooms and in the meantime Frozen's all excited and she's telling him that she'd been going around bars in his absence checking out where the killer pool contests were or normal pool contests because there were a few of those as well eight ball and nine ball it turns out if I'm right the name of the bar was Sharky's bar but I can't remember just up from the Atlantic Bar, going towards Dolphin Roundabout on Second Road, there was another cut down. I think there was Soy One with a go-go, Classroom 2000 go-go. Bit further, there was a bit of a dead end road going down with the Sharky's Bar, which was quite big. It was like an enclosed unit, like a factory. And then there was a go-go. Those were significant later on in Solomon's Tales. Remember those. So, Frozen said, Sharkies have got a nine ball contest coming up in a few days. And that she'd been going around and she'd found a few more. Now, back 15 years ago, there weren't that many bars as there are today. Maybe 30% maybe of what's there now, as far as bars go. Today, in 2017, you could go around Patea and I bet you could find 
pool contests in the different bars because it's quite a good way of getting the customers in you could get the contest probably every night of the week a different bar if not two bars around so you could turn up on your bike see if there's any competition if there is shoot off to another one not as much choice when Solomon was there so frozen was excited to tell him that she's got some there's loads um, she'd found um, and the main one though was his favourite Soy 8 Beach Road centre point an inside set of bars that contest was on the following night and the, there was a big party the same night in that bar now the manager of that bar we'll call Jim can't don't remember the name but that was on the following night but nothing the night in question that night so second road had some food over they go across the road to Atlantic Bar and those bars and Solomon just has a sort of poke in to see if Ning's about no and they go down Soy 2 50 meters on the left there's quite a few blocks um, and they're on Frozen's motorbike so park the bike and they talk to some girls there and go to some doors and sure enough these couple of girls say that the block there further up there's some rooms up second level and third level so poking their nose around they find a cleaner Solomon asks the cleaner rooms for rent doesn't really understand frozen steps in but speaks Thai yes and the cleaner takes them on the second floor to this room and they go in but there's four single mattresses on the floor it's a 35 square meter room with a shower room it's about it but four mattresses on the floor this was obviously rented out for bar, you know girls working in the bars that would share the room but the cleaner said to Frozen there was upstairs another room luckily cleaner took him up and Frozen go up same layout but much cleaner painted big double bed six foot double bed nice shower room all modern even though the outside was old inside was modern there was a kettle there was a microwave this was more kitted out for Solomon perfect price cleaner didn't know so the cleaner says the woman that uh, a man who own this block a tie and that they've got a some bars at the front down the road and a massage place inside soy four just inside and that if they went to the massage place they would find the woman or the husband okay great the room's fine it's right behind those four bars at the front the Atlantic bar you know 50 meters but close uh, because the Atlantic bars up a few steps and then the rooms are up it's almost just above so not far at all jump on the bike straight down to the beach road literally 20 meters along beach road turn left into soy four so this is almost where ning's room is just before ning's room and there's an entrance there saying massage so park the bike in they go there's like a fish pond in there like a uh, in in the entry hall and then this sweeping stairs going up um, up they go and top of the stairs there's double doors with massage written on the doors blacked out anyway I open the doors and go in there's a bar in front to the left is loads of seating area and then there's a glass wall a goldfish bowl and as they walk through the door Solomon goes through a woman on the reception bar area presses a button a buzzer light goes on and all the ladies rush off into the goldfish bowl <laughs> but then frozen walks in behind him and they walk to the bar false alarm customers not coming in these people aren't here for massage 
the girls come out looking a bit grumpy and cheesed off that they uh, eh, no customer anyway we'll leave it there for now and I'll catch you on the next one